Hey there, how are you? I hope you're all doing great today. So in this video, I want to share with you a bit of a art haul uh, with some art supplies I got in a art store in the center of Rome. And I was super excited. I really love this shop and I almost forgot the feeling and the excitement it is to be surrounded of so many art supplies. I really was going crazy and trying to avoid touching absolutely everything. Obviously, I could not really control myself. Um, I'm sorry for the shakiness of uh, the footage, and uh, but I didn't bring my camera. Obviously, I really wanted to enjoy the moment. And yeah, I've got a couple of things I'm really excited about. And next I'll leave you with the footage where I actually um, unbox sort of and swatch everything I got there. I hope you enjoy. So yeah, everything I've purchased, all the goodies I got are here in this small bag and I'm really excited for all of them, but especially for one thing that is actually not in this bag and I'm going to show it to you at the end of the video because it's going to take up a uh, whole video by itself. But let's see what's inside the bag. First of all, we have some rectified turpentine because I got it because in the last upgrade I received oil colors and I had quite some, I had fun using them and I would like to try them maybe on a bigger canvas that I did for the upgrade battle so for that I will definitely need some turpentine and that's why I got this is from the old Holland company which is quite renowned for their oil color so I think is gonna be good quality turpentine if you can have that and that's the first thing I got next I got some a couple of tubes of the Venezia My Mary watercolor which I actually saw a couple of videos about online made by some American YouTuber, I think. And on those videos, they all are saying that these are student grade watercolors, but they're actually not. Because here it says extra fine watercolor, which in Italian, <laughs> it actually means they're professional grade watercolors and I, I can understand why they would think that these are um, of student grade because of their price because a 15 ml tubes were um, was 295 euros so three bucks basically and that's very very good for a watercolor, um, professional watercolor tube. So um, I was actually confused about it as well, but they do say they're very light fast. All of their um, 26 color, I think they have in this range, um, in this line of watercolor, 
they don't have a huge amount of colors and that's because they are made from modern pigments and they have removed all the toxic um, substances uh, both in the pigments than in the manufacture process for them and um, so they have a fewer colors and but they are supposed to be professional quality um, I was very curious to test them anyways whether they're professional or student grade so I've got these two colors and one is Indian yellow and the other one is Rose Lake and we'll see if they're any good in a couple of minutes when I'll swatch everything out. Um, then I've got also to compare the Venezia with the actual um, the actual professional classic line from My Mary, which is My Mary Blue. And I decided to get the primary blue, cyan, and the primary red, magenta, because I don't have this color in my collection and I think I could really use them. <laughs> I mean, they're primary, so... And I'm really curious to see if I like them. After that I also decided to buy a couple of pans, half pans of Windsor Professional watercolor. I do have um, actually a few of um, the Windsor and Cotman tubes I've got some in an upgrade last year and plus I've bought a couple of them myself so I've got quite a few of them and I am curious to see, I actually like the, the Cotman line and I know that so do a lot of um, professional illustrators I know of so um, I am curious to try their professional line though and that's why I've got these two colors that I don't have in any other um, brand. I've got the Naples yellow which is a color I've been wanting to try for a while. Let's see if it ever focus if it wants okay so the Naples yellow and another color I was really eager to try was the pottery pink on swatches and such it looks like a really interesting color to me so we'll see how it looks on paper next is the brand I'm probably the most excited about trying out of the things in this bag and um, these are the Schminke watercolor which are probably the most renowned and acclimate watercolors uh, by you know watercolorists around or at least that's my perception <laughs> and uh, they, they all agree uh, by saying that these are some a wonderful brand and I really wanted to try them so I've got three 5 ml tubes um, obviously they are quite expensive but these were reasonable price I decided to get some primary a primary triad um, not uh, really the classic primaries but um, a still a primary triad and I got some transparent red deep some yellow raw ochre and some helio turquoise helium turquoise and I'm really excited to try these out, really. Okay, here we are. 
So first, I'm gonna swatch the Mine Mary. They actually had, well, not all of the, the line in the shop I went to, but they did have a couple more colors. Okay, so here we have some binder stuff happening. I hear it's something common in watercolor tubes. I don't know whether it's a bad start of sort. This doesn't seem to be happening with the pink. Okay, so the Indian yellow is a two pigment color and it's PY42 plus PY139 and it says synthetic iron oxide. Again, this rose lake is quinacridon PV19. I'm not a pigment expert yet, but I'm trying to be more aware of what I do have in my collection and maybe getting to know some properties of the colors. Okay, so it doesn't seem to flow that much, but me not being so expert, maybe that's not so bad. I mean, I could, I do like to get some control with my watercolors, to be honest, and I do think that if you wanted to have to add more flow to a particular piece, you could always buy some oxgar. Oxgar? How do you say that in, in English? I think is oxgar, which is very easily found and it's, I've never tried it, to be honest, but I know it's basically what um, brands known for their flow add to their watercolor. So I think I really like this, these colors. I'm quite happy with them. So I think that I'll surely buy the the ones I can find. I think, well, n not all of them because obviously uh, there are some colors that I already own for other brands and I don't really want to have. Now let's see these half pants. I have to say I don't really, I don't love half pants for some reason. I used to actually. But since I've tried the Ganzai Tanbi and since I've tried the Sonnet watercolors that are in full pants, I mean, before I, I never, I, I always bought tubes uh, or half pants. So, but once I've tried the full pants experience, um, I really, I really like it better that I really like better full pants because of the experience. I don't know the. I don't know. It's just that the brush fits better to me. I don't like to go on like this. It it feels tricky, but it's something in my head. I I get that. Oh, I love this color. And I definitely, I didn't have this color in my collection. Certainly not in a professional grade watercolor. I maybe do have this pigment in the, in my Cotman tubes, I think but I'm not completely positive. 
Anyway, I do understand that even if the pigments are the same, the formula is unique to their own brand, so I mean, you're not gonna get exactly the same color because every brown has got their formula and it works differently for every pigment so in a way you probably could buy all of the same pigment color and maybe not getting the same actual watercolor It looks to me like the, the My Mary Blue has got a bit more flow to it than the Venezia. And now I'm going to swatch these Winsor & Newton. Let's start with the Naples Yellow. It's also a double pigment colour and it's PW6 and PB. R24. This is quite transparent, um, quite opaque. Excuse me, but I like it. Both the My Mary Blue and this Winsor & Newton color reactivated very, very easily, which I like, obviously. I was apparently in the mood for pink on the day of my shop trip but it felt really really good to be back in an actual art shop it's so much it, it's so different to um, buy these in person and to to see them and touch them I don't know, I, I know it sounds silly, but it's totally different. This is going to be another sort of semi-opaque one, I think, as well. Um, no, no. But this is a really... Peculiar color. It's a very. It is different. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna use it a lot, but I am happy to have this color in my collection. And now for the tubes. Okay, so let's see the yellow raw ochre which is made by PY42 and PY43. So I'm not very used to using watercolor straight from the tubes, so it feels different and I'm not sure whether it's because of that or because of the quality of this watercolor being extremely different from what I'm used to. I have tried a couple of professional great watercolors but not that many I love I love this red this is I love it it's a really really nice red and let's see 
this alien turquoise. Oh, it's very nice. So yeah, the, these watercolors, I really, really like them. They're really, really beautiful. And I can't wait to try them a bit further. I do see <laughs> by these swatches that I didn't really go nuts color-wise in this in, in this um, purchase. They are pretty similar. We've got sort of three yellows, three pinks or reddish pinks, and two blues, and the blues are quite similar as well but I'm trying to build up my collection starting from the essential and the basics so I think that yeah these colors are probably boring um, but or are also probably staple colors I think um, so, but we'll see. I would like to definitely have a look at more Schmincke colors and maybe some My Mary. I'm not sure about the Winsor & Newton, if I have to be honest. Um, I mean, they are beautiful, but the price is higher than the Schmincke and um, I mean, that's basically why I don't think that the, the price point compared to the, the Schmincke is really... It doesn't make sense to me, so I would probably not buy any more of the Winsor & Newton Professional line for now, at least. And unless I I'd find a sort of offer or some something some discounts or something but yeah these are my swatches for today's haul but i do have one more thing to show you that i got in the shop and that i'm super excited about and these are these i've got the 240 color charts from Daniel Smith watercolor that I'm stoked to to swatch really. I was thinking about getting a tube or two in the shop but they only had the big tubes that were more than 10 euros per tube and they were so many that they have so many colors that I just didn't know what to go for for the price you know it's I really intrigued by a couple of colors but yeah I've got this and it will definitely help me to see which colors may uh, appeal to me and may be worth it for my for my collection and yes this will probably be a video all by itself and if you want to um, to see it don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll try to make it happen as soon as possible also because I'm really really curious to to swatch them myself Obviously, it will take me a bit of time because they are four pages of dots and it will be a long swatch, definitely. So I'll have to get a bit of time to do it. But yeah, subscribe and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it. 
but for today that's it i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye